I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Apotheon. A review copy of this game was provided to me by the developer. It's coming out on PC and PS4 February 3rd, which is probably today or in the past. So it's not really a big deal. Oop. No. Let's start a new game, shall we? Story. Have abandoned you. What else is new? What love they once gave is now gone. The sea gives only water. The woods give only wind. The earth gives only dust. Even the midday sky gives only twilight. And with their shepherds gone, the sheep fall prey to wolves. Without the gifts of Olympus, you are lost to the darkness. Yep, sounds about right. Apotheon. Is that how you pronounce it? I hope it's how I pronounce it. So, the obvious thing about this game is that it's this whole Greek painting sort of style that is, in my opinion, extremely well done. So it's a brawler, like slightly Metroidvania-ish brawler, like not, I don't even, not Metroidvania, but it's non-linear to an extent with like explorable areas and not strict order of what uh, order you want to go through. Like Andrios, you're still amongst the living. Our watchmen didn't even see their ships through the darkness. These raider scum will take everything we have. They're taking prisoners, invading houses, and burning anything they can't pillage. I need you wherever you can stick a blade. The voice acting's pretty good, though. It's slightly it's annoying for me because, of course, I'm trying to talk over it. So yeah, there's a map. A big old map. And there's a sort of fog of war thing going on. So we're just gonna go around to these random objectives. Like I said, it doesn't matter what order you go through. Oh. This is not an area you can go to. So yeah, we want to go up. See, so yeah, the combat's interesting. It's a brawler, but it's not quite what you expect combat-wise. It's... Attacks are a lot about spacing and timing. So like, you saw that guy had a spear. Spears move very slow, but have good range. And to counter that, I need to hit him before he can swing. Don't have any lockpicks. Let's go down... Parker's helping. There's naked painted Greek dudes of like extremely low fidelity. If that's a problem for you, um, you've got bigger problems in this video. Parker, I'm playing a video game. Can you not sit right in front of the TV? Not TV, whatever. See, so yeah, we've got some different weapons now. We've even got some throwable weapons. Throwable weapons I don't use very often. To use those with the right trigger. I don't like consumable stuff. Speaking of consumable, honestly everything is consumable. Weapons take damage as you use them or hit walls and stuff. So you want to pick up new ones anytime you can. It's not really a big deal, but weapons can break at somewhat inopportune times and you'll have to use a slightly different weapon. But there's enough variety of weapons you can hold at once that you shouldn't really be without a weapon at any point. You've got to... you're not going to cut me with that. Oh, you might cut me with that. Okay. But you're not going to cut me with the sling. Okay, Parker, I think you might need to go down on the floor. Now he's going to sit nice now. See, so yeah, as you can see, my weapon's about three-thirds of the way broken. Not three thirds, three fourths of the way broken. I can math, okay? I, I am able to math. Excuse me, sirs. I'd like to save my buddies, but honestly, there's not too much reason to. This guy can't die though. Pretty much. I think I got some old leathers in the back you can wear. Grab me that coin box, would you? I want to make sure you can cover the costs. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, try these on. Cover up that greasy hide of yours. You're really gonna give me money and then make me buy stuff? 
I, 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 I'm, I'm not even gonna comment on that. That's that's fine. Okay, whatever. Also, I'm gonna steal all of this stuff and get armor. Armor and health both can overheal in this game. As you can see, I have 100 armor, but I can only like carry 29 armor. You'll see health do that too. Like automatic pickups and you consumable pickups will do that. And generally, I don't bother trying to overheal, but some consumables are consumed like as soon as you touch them. Oh man, I was gonna eat that grain. Come on, guys. Hey, that's my grain. I'm just gonna eat it right here off the floor. That's that's good. Ow! Stop that. Delicious grains. Going to go ahead. Did that guy drop his weapon? No, he didn't. There we go. Farmer's fork. These are fun. Over here. Nice speary sort of deal. Do we have an actual spear? Uh, just these. I really love the art style. It's really well done. See, even the fire is like all stylized. Oh, right. And you can look around with the right stick. I'm using a controller, as you might have guessed from the prompts. You can play on keyboard and mouse on PC. I'm not aware of any significant differences on PS4, but I like my test version or review version is PC, so I don't really I don't have the PC the PS4 version yet. But it's PS Plus day one, and from what I have played is a very cool game, so I really recommend picking it up if you have PS Plus. Maybe if you don't. See, so yeah, it works fine with controller. Works fine with mouse and keyboard too. It works pretty much as you'd expect. Instead of right stick, you use the mouse to aim. Not really too different. I prefer it with the keyboard or with the controller just because there's a fair amount of buttons at play, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much. And it's a brawler, but it's... I almost hesitate to call it a brawler, but I'm not sure what else to call it. But the combat is pretty interesting. Of course, these guys are pretty simple. Since it's, you know, this this whole village is basically the tutorial. And we, we won't show you too much beyond the tutorial, honestly. By we, I of course mean the royal we. Just gonna stab this guy in the junk. It, I think it shows you a good selection of all of what's to offer, pretty much. There's a bunch of different systems. Well, not too many. It's not too complicated, but there's some stuff that you can do. Like, you can craft. We haven't gotten to the crafty part yet. Just overhealed our armor again. Don't stab the light fixtures, by the way. They freaking explode and set you on fire. It's kind of intense. Well, we need some freaking lockpicks already. Just gonna take that. Oh, and there's, as you can see, that Y button prompt for healing. You can heal your armor or health with these consumables. We've got them over here. I don't need to do that, though. It's got that Gish style real time 2D lighting. I really like that. Excuse me! Let's use a longer range weapon. Go ahead and steal all of this crap. And you damage your weapons by hitting random crap too. I think. Oh no, I think maybe breaking crates is free, but hitting walls is not, actually. And since this is not Ocarina of Time, you move fast when you look backwards. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, and you can toggle your offhand. It can either be a shield or a torch here. I really like how the lighting, like, it looks like you're looking at a wall with paintings on it, but the, uh, it's just interesting how the real life lighting and the in-game lighting sort of interact there. And yeah, sometimes people whimper and squiggle around as they die. 
chemtrails. My dows Oops. and hid up here before they could find me. I don't fine. think anybody's found you. you. Come closer, my boy. Here, okay. Let me show you how to mix a soothing tonic for your wounds. So oops, there we go. So yeah, there's crafting. We can't you need recipes to craft. I think that's all we can use this Ditney of Cretes for, so we may as well just make a bunch of those. We don't need fire bombs quite yet. That's what the Greek fire is, Parker. You're in the way. Alright. You're gonna cut me with that? Oh, I guess that is a sword. I thought it was a club. I was preparing to mock him like I was... Oh well, never mind. All is well. He did cut me, in fact. I hope he's proud of himself. Parker, you are incredibly in the way right now. Alright. Let's go on the farm. There you go. Okay. Ouch. Okay, there's falling damage, by the way. Let's check out our inventory. So there's a bunch of different crap you can hold. I do not have lockpicks. That's what I was checking for. Hmm. There's no real need to help those guys. You can if you want. I don't think any actually important NPCs can actually die. Ow! There's knockback. The big thing in this game, there's two difficulties, warrior and champion, I believe. The biggest difference is that in champion, if you take damage while you're readying an attack, you can it cancels your attack which changes it so you have to be a lot more careful in combat. It also does the generic you take more damage, they take less damage thing. Well, that's crappy and slow. Alright, let's may as well show off how you use ranged weapons here. They travel in a bit of an arc, so you gotta sort of over-aim. I don't usually use range stuff too much. Hey, buddy. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Check out these moves. People like rat meat, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Rat meat is delicious. Don't you worry. I'll keep all the rat meat safe. Don't worry. I'll keep the wine safe too. Mm, I bet you will. See, as you might have noticed, I you have a stamina bar at the... It's that green bar at the bottom left there. As it goes down, you attack way more slowly. And let's grab that. That was pointless, but we had to do it. Um, you can also, on controller, if you move, if you hold the like, right stick up, no, the left stick up, you do this uppercut, and down you do this lower cut. With mouse, you have to move the mouse down or up, like it, and you attack in the opposite direction. So that's one of the more major control differences. It works well enough either way, you just have to know to do it. That's mostly only useful for enemies with shields, because you got to go around the shield. I'm not sure if we've seen anybody with a shield yet. We will. Some attacks always attack in an arc anyway, like the club. Let's do that. And that. Already been in the greenery. Let's see where we can go in. Oh. I see. I should have seen that objective marker. Okay. Nope, I just ran completely past that guy. Stab you in the junk. Ow! Woo! The combat's pretty interesting. It's 
it looks pretty quick, but uh, there's some. Pa it's really pacing and timing can be really important, especially on the harder difficulty and especially with spears. You can pretty much just mash attacks with this stabby thing here, the knife. But uh, more complex battles require, you know, more complex actions. So we finally got some lock picks. Excuse me. I'm not even sure what that milk or whatever stuff does. Yeah, I'm just gonna open this door while you're standing right there. See, so yeah, this is one of those shield guys. See, so yeah, I find an overhead attack usually gets around the shield. There we are. Get out of here. I guess you, no. May as well craft that. Some more of these. God help us. Mm -hmm. All right, you can roll. I guess it just lets you roll past people. Yeah, you already said that. Calm down. Oh, right. No, get get down there. Oh right, this spear is pretty sweet. Or not spear, axe. It's high damage, pretty slow. We don't want to waste it. You there, with me. Their leader is on the warpath. How did you know I was here? The okay then. And you run just by walking in a direction constantly without attacking or anything. There's no run button. Back to the sea. Which I kind of prefer it like that, because like, why would you not be running, honestly? Stab you. Oh, my, yep, there my thing broke. I'm not sure if we've seen a weapon break yet, but there we go. Stop falling downstairs, guys. That's not helping anybody. Probably need to go up. Excuse me. You can break enemy shields if you do enough damage. Usually, you'll be able to kill them before that happens. I also like the little drum sound when you hit or kill enemies. It's satisfying. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Boss Man. Mr. Enemy Boss. Yep. Oh. Rude. You just freaking walked right away. I was right there. Whatever. Let's go find our obligatory first boss fight. Ah, right. So now we need to craft some fire bombs. I need to just throw these like any thrown object. There we go. Completely full of healing items, apparently. This one's mine. I found the game to be fairly easy, but that may simply be because you know I'm just I've only played through mostly only played through the tutorial area. You can change the difficulty, not quite at any time, but there's an item or like an there's a map object that lets you change the difficulty, so. If you want to start on hard, you can just go ahead and do that with confidence because you can change it back. I really do appreciate when games let you do that because sometimes, I mean, it's just really hard to tell what one developer considers actually what blah, words. It's really hard to gauge what a developer means when they say hard because, like, sometimes hard is fairly okay sometimes hard is like completely insane break your balls difficult and sometimes hard isn't even a fair challenge it's just ridiculous and oh excuse me so I really do appreciate being able to change that because I I like a good challenge but I don't want to end up stuck on a difficulty like say God of War 2's Titan difficulty where 
bosses take 10 minutes to kill and everything is completely insufferable. I did not enjoy Titan mode in that game at all. They sealed the door behind them, but I have the spare key. Take it, take it. I already did, buddy. So just take all of your other crap too. Bye now. I already have over the maximum of healing items. Over here. I don't think you can change difficulty in the menu. Oh, you can. Okay. There is also. This one's mine. There's also, um, like a building sort of thing that lets you change it that we'll see a little, a little later on. What's this? Secrets? Secrets. I really do like that 2D real-time lighting thing. I, there's a name for it. I forget what it is. This feels like the right way to go, so I want to go the other way. But, ah. Okay, we're going down. I do, oh. Right, yes, there's falling damage, by the way. So don't... Don't do what I do. I'm dumb. Why won't you break? Wait. I was already here. Ugh. Oh, you and your branching paths. Okay, so there's... Just a branching path, apparently, and... I didn't need to... Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. Climb. There you go. I really like the textured wall effect. It, really, it looks really good. It really does look kind of like a wall painting. We've got fancy arrows. I may not even see me use a ranged weapon at all, because I just don't really use them. Got a him to Hera. Oh crap! No, frig. There was stuff down there. I wanted the stuff. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna waste my overhealed health, but I want that armor down there. That's way, way more important. Excuse me. The red doors mean you have to use a lockpick. So we just got armor upgrade. Like, the armor is kind of weird. You have actual equipment items that up your maximum base armor, and there's also armor pickups that, like, heal your armor. They've forsaken you, too. I'd rather not. Also, the shields, a nice touch, the shields have, like, randomly generated designs. Well, not randomly generated, but there's, like, a selection of different designs they're gonna have. Switching to champion difficulty just before a boss wasn't the brightest idea, but uh... How did that not hit you? Drink the frickin' potion, you idiot! Drink it! What are you doing? Shit! Why is he trying to throw the potion? I have no idea what's going on. Why are you trying to throw it? Stop that. Seriously. There we go! You're supposed to drink the potion. That was incredibly awkward. I don't know what was going on there. Okay, back back to the fighting. The yeah, enemy's shields can break. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be I guess I won't be able to steal a shield now, but oh well. Oosh. Let's go ahead and steal all this stuff. Bye now! Hey Hera, how you doing? Same old, same old? A champion is born. Oh shucks. A bright ember glowing from within a dying heart. Arise, my chosen. 
Arise, Nicandrios. You stand before Hera, fairest amongst all goddesses, divine queen of Olympus. Under the shadow of the mountain, humanity gasps its last breath. The gods have abandoned you. Is this God of War 3? King of gods and men, my husband, has turned his back on your people. He has broken the sacred contract between deities and mortals. He has betrayed you. Freaking Zeus, honestly. You see, we are alike, you and I. Wife and son, wounded by husband and father. Unfaithful in matrimony, he discards his oaths for lesser creatures. Irresponsible in patriarchy, he discards his mortal subjects like an ungrateful child tossing away his toys. The law of Zeus is absolute, and the Olympians are compelled to obey. Without the seeds of Demeter, your crops fail. Without the grace of Artemis, your forests are barren. Without the gaze of Apollo, your minds stumble in darkness. But I, as queen, am not so easily cowed. Step to the altar, Nicandrios. Oakley, Oakley. I present to you a choice. Choices are Ascend fun. Ascend Mount Olympus, strip these callous gods of their power, and cast down Zeus from his lofty This is definitely throne. God of War 3. Stand up to the cruel deities of Olympus and earn your people's salvation. What's option number two? Or remain here without the gifts of the gods and watch your world turn to ashes. I'm like an option number B. I mean... Obtaining godly power is one thing, but just sitting here and dying, now I gotta For go. For too long has my husband escaped the consequences of his actions. But together, we will take what is owed. Yeah, let's go kill Zeus. Whee! Even the particle effects are fancy. That's just ridiculous. Love the way this game looks. Alrighty. So this is the whole Gate of Olympus, I think. We've got some gods walking around being like, hey, we're way better than you. Freaking gods and their whole superiority complex just because they're superior. It makes me mad. This is what I was talking about with being able to change difficulty. Yeah, you can do it from the menu at any time, so really, just do whatever you feel comfortable with. The Altar of Zephyr lets you transfer around the map, so... You can go around... Uh, we haven't actually gone to any of these places, so we can't go to them yet. But this is a whole big connected map. By mandate of Zeus, father of gods and men, yeah, you're in my way. The mountain, the Olympian... Oh, you can skip text. So yeah. Once the mortal issue has been resolved, <sighs> you will all Rude. be free to return to the earth. As guests of Zeus. So yeah, Zeus is trying to kill us. Strict adherence to his laws is expected. So yeah, this sort of works like Elder Scrolls in that you can try and steal stuff, but if they see you, you'll have to either pay a fine or kill a bunch of guards. I'm not actually sure if you can win. By killing guards, like I don't, I don't know if they ever stop attacking you. I haven't tried because I don't want to die. But yeah, from here on, there's. I think we have to go in, into the big gates. But yeah, from here on, there's no plume of Hera. There's some different stuff we can do, and it's not strictly linear. That's why I said kind of Metroidvania, but not really, because there's no real abilities that unlock areas. It's really just story progression. But it's a bit more complicated than a brawler. Hello, what are you? Like a giant rat dog? But yeah, we need to meet these gods and we need to get their powers back. But, uh... That's pretty much a good quick look into Apotheon. Go ahead and check it out if you want. I think it's pretty cool.